if we look at this installation manual here, you'll see on page 4-4, four, four, there's a few helpful tips in here. Um, and this page refers to standard telephones as opposed to this proprietary Panasonic handset. So by standard telephones, we're talking about telephones like this one or, or these other telephones. So putting a call on hold. There's a helpful diagram here. Basically, you're going to flash the hook switch. And hook switch and switch hook are interchangeable terms. And again, hook switch is... is this thing here. This is the hook switch, or switch hook, whatever you want to call it. That's the switch hook. So many of the things I'm going to show you here, um, they work on these two PBX systems. I can say that they'll work with whatever telephone company you have for your landline. Um, they could vary from company to company, so you want to check with your telephone company to make sure these features are supported in the way that they're going to be used here. But this is how they work on these PBXs, and I know, um, especially back in the older days, I guess you could call them, they work with most telephone companies as well. So to put a call on hold from a standard telephone, you're simply going to flash the switch hook, you'll hear two beeps, and then to cancel the hold, you simply flash the hook switch again. Hook switch, switch hook, same thing. Notice it says don't press the hook switch for more than a second or party will be disconnected. Because that would basically be like hanging up, right? And you don't want to hang it up. You just want to flash the switch hook. It's a brief depress of the switch hook, less than a second. So let's demo that here. We can use this phone to call this phone here. We'll just dial 103. set that down here so you can see so to put this collar on hold you simply flash the switch hook notice you heard there's two beeps now this handset is resting here you could um, cradle it here like this phone is cradled not hang up, just cradle it like this phone, or just leave it there. When you're ready to cancel the hold, simply flash the switch hook again. And notice the call has been reconnected. Probably can't hear it too well, but, um, you know, if I tap in here, you can hear um, a noise coming out of the receiver. I can try to turn the volume up here so you can hear it. So these two phones are connected. The hold was canceled, so these two phones still have a connection. So even though these phones don't have a hold button like this phone, you can still flash the switch hook to put a caller on hold. It comes in pretty handy. Again, your telephone company has to support this, obviously. In this case, my telephone company is the PBX system I have set up here, and obviously that supports it. That is why it's in the instruction manual here. So another handy feature offered by this PBX is call splitting, which allows a user to alternate between two parties. And it involves slashing the hook switch again, the switch hook. That's really the only way to do anything while a call is in progress here, when, when you're having a conversation with someone. So you're gonna flash the hook switch, like it says here. Notice this is more complicated than simply flashing the hook switch, right? There's more steps involved. So you're going to flash the hook switch. So I still have these calls connected. So let me hang up here. If I dial 104, 103, sorry. And I picked up before it called. Try that again. There we go. So you're going to flash the switch hook. You hear those two tones. 
And now you're going to dial the second party. So let's just dial 105. So now this party is on the line. And notice it says here, you're consulting with the second party, the first party is on the hold, right? When you flash that switch hook, it's obviously already put that caller on hold. So it's not a conference call. We'll get to that in a minute. This caller is on hold. Now this phone is having a conversation with this phone. So to alternate between the parties, you're just going to flash the hook switch again, and that will reverse the hold. So now, this phone is talking with this phone, that phone is on hold, and so on and so on. You can keep flashing the switch hook to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between the two parties. So conference calls, very similar to call splitting, you're going to start by flashing the hook switch and dialing the second party, just like you did with call splitting. So let's demo that here. And I'll have to hang this up. So, one, zero, three, and flash the hook switch. Here are the two tones. Dial the second party. And we got that phone connected now. So basically, notice this feature. We've put a call on hold, and we've sort of done call splitting, right? So it says you can consult with the second party. You don't have to consult with the second party necessarily. But now what you're going to do is flash the hook switch again and dial 3. And dial 3. Notice you heard another tone. We now have a conference call set up between this phone this phone, and this phone here. Receivers all the way down here. Where is it? Here it is. There's a receiver for that phone. So we have a conference call set up between that phone, this phone, and this phone. So if we were using this phone, we could simply use the transfer button, this button here, the transfer button, to transfer a call. We can still transfer calls from phones like these, which obviously don't have transfer buttons. It will involve flashing the hook switch. So if we look here at the instructions, transferring a call, you're simply going to flash the hook switch, dial an extension number, and hang up. And to retrieve the call, notice it says if the other extension does not answer, say transfer to someone who is not by their phone, it will automatically be transferred back to you after 30 seconds. In this case, you're going to lift the handset Flash the hook switch twice, once to receive the call, once to flash again, and you're going to dial the extension number of the new party you're transferring the call to. So let's demo that here. So we're going to use this phone to call this phone, as we have been doing this entire video. To transfer the call, remember, you're just going to flash the hook switch, dial an extension number, and hang up. It also says you can announce your name to the caller and then hang up. Sort of like call splitting and conference calling, but in this case we're just going to dial an extension number and hang up after we flash the hook switch. So we're going to flash. You hear those two tones. Let's transfer it to just 101. Now this phone is ringing. So after 30 seconds, if I don't pick up this handset here, it's automatically going to transfer back to this phone. So we can hang up now. We've transferred the call after a while. Let's just wait and see what happens if this is not picked up within 30 seconds of the call having been transferred. And 
somehow goes back here. The call was not picked up. It got redirected here. So we could, we could flash the hook switch, redirect it to a new party. But you just need how to transfer a call. And of course, I could have picked up. And we would have had a connection between this phone and this phone in that case. So just a couple more things I wanted to show you that are related to flashing the switch hook to get some of those call features. And by the way, um, usually those things are available at additional costs from your telephone company. So if you flash the switch hook and nothing happens, it might be because you aren't paying for it. In this case, it's all um, provided by the PBX, so I don't have to worry about that. But anyways, a couple more things that are related to flashing the hook switch. So when we turn on auto answer here, remember that will automatically pick up calls that come through and put on speakerphone. So it's like a hands-free way of using the telephone for incoming calls. So we make a call from this phone to that phone. So we can take it off speakerphone by simply lifting the handset. And of course, now it's hung up. But if we do that again, I can move the handset away so we don't get all that static. If we dial zero, notice it's on again. If I press the buttons, you can hear things coming out of here, right? Here is, if you press buttons on your handset, the other party in this case with this PBX, they can hear it. So for example, I can play Mary had a little lamb in case you didn't pick that up. So you can use the buttons during the call. Now, this is a push button telephone and it's on the touch tone mode, right? But in this case with this PBX, you can also use rotary telephones. And a feature of this PBX is that the PBX will automatically convert those pulses to tones for you. So let me show you that here. So auto answer is still on in this handset. So we place a call from, actually, let me use this one here. We got dial tone. We'll just dial nine, zero. So if I dial seven, notice the tone for seven came out of here. Remember, this is a rotary phone, right? I wasn't using touch tones. Remember, because I technically made an outside call, the PBX automatically converted the pulses to tones that then came out of this speaker, out of this handset here. Because remember, you can hear what the other party is dialing on their phone. So, if I dial some more. So why I'm showing you this is, if you have a PBX like this, remember you can't use, you generally can't use rotary telephones with interactive um, voice response menus, you know, menus like if they say, you know, press one for this, if you want this, press two, press three for this, right? You need to use a touch tone push button phone. But if you have a PBX set up like this, apart from the Apart from the um, star and pound keys, obviously there's no way to emulate that here. But apart from those, you can send tones from here for all the number keys. So if they say press four for something, well, there you go. So you can use this phone just like a touch tone phone with those computer menus to get what you want. So comes in very handy. You don't have to use a touch tone phone if you have a PBX setup like this. Pretty nice.